I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And for the Jazz, they're shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. Davis out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Reeves in at the two spot. That's the Laker five. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Davis. The shot's good. He has six. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers. What made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. The Lakers in the lead. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. James can't get it to go. So it's Utah now. Back to Sexton. There's the three. The Jazz with another miss. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Here's Vanderbilt into the lane. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Vanderbilt's got his first two points. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Sexton, that's good. That was the first make of the half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. Here's Davis. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, it's been tremendous to watch Anthony Davis realize his potential here in the NBA. Over the seasons, he's lived up to the hype and developed himself into a true all-star. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Bamba's checked in for Vanderbilt. Hachimura comes in for James. Beasley's checked in for Reeves. And it's Schroeder in for Russell. And a switch here also for Utah. Gay's checked in for Olenek. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Alley. Thanks. Different look here. Vanderbilt's checked in. For Bamba, LeBron comes in for Achimura. Reeves is checked in for Beasley. And Russell is subbed in for Schroeder. third quarter now. Outside Russell to the paint. Chalk up two there. Give him eight. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's Clarkson. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. I mean, Jordan Clarkson is huge in the Philippines. His family with roots there, traveling out to Manila with NBA Cares, drawing huge crowds. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. It's Markin on the wing. Off target with the three. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Davis, the pass to Vanderbilt. That's in there! Davis with the assist! Vanderbilt's got his second bucket on the night. And Clarkson in 2018 suited up for the Philippines national team. NBA Clarkson's NBA games are a must-watch in the Philippines. Kids watching Clarkson's games in the morning before heading to school. 
They say forget the cartoons. We want to watch hoops. And the Lakers making a change here. Bamba's checked in. All right, a moment now to bring up last season's top rebounding teams. In the third spot, the Jazz. Their big man did a tremendous job grabbing rebounds, but to be fair, their rebounding was a total team effort. Everybody chipped in. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Now here's Dunn. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Marketing it outside. Launches it. Unable to get that one. And the Lakers going the other way now. Looking ahead, they've got the Cavaliers coming to town for their next one. And that game will conclude a four-game homestand for them. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. It's been tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 13-4 run. Davis with it, picked up by Markkinen. Out of bounds, going to be Utah's ball. And a look now at the Utah Jazz's upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll be playing against Russell Westbrook and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then Monday, they'll be matching up with LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. Here's Abaji. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's going to be on Mo Bamba. Olenek's oh, checked in for Markkinen. And the Lakers with possession here. Over to the wing. The three is up. The shot by Reeves, no good. Utah has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Outside Olinick. Pass to Abaji. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot clock at 6. Launches a 3. Gets the 3 to fall. He's got 10. And with an excellent understanding of the game, Olenek is able to find open teammates. Right side, Russell. It's stolen. Here's Horton Tucker. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. The Lakers have gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. And here's Russell. He has six. They grab their own miss. Bamba. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Defensive foul. Walker. F. Ward. That's his second personal. That's good from Bamba. So it's the Los Angeles Lakers in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. Defense is setting the tone. We'll be right back after this word. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter. But stranger things have happened. So the Jazz five right now. Doesn't go for him. The Jazz shooting just 35% from the floor. Now Clarkson. Left side Sexton. Schroeder with a rebound. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. 
His percentage was fantastic, and he's just done a great job of finding space and taking advantage of every inch the defense gives him. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans, and it motivates him to always give them his very best. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. I had a chance to find out what the Lakers coach was going over with his guys. He spoke to his club like they were down in a score. He told them, quote, we haven't won anything yet. Don't go easy. We've had all the leads like this, and we've seen them evaporate quickly. Coach bringing the urgency. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Allie. Sexton with it. Pass to Olenek. Back to Sexton for three. That shot is off. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Shot is good by Reeves. And they're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Vanderbilt against Sexton. Outside Olenek. Back to Sexton. Clarkson for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got rebound number five here tonight. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. The indestructible one. LeBron brushing off. Contact with the easy deuce. Clarkson left side. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stat should count towards postseason stats. Granted, kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Pass to James. It again. That's his seventh made field goal in 11 tries. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. For three, Sexton hits a three-pointer. Got to D him up better than that. He's really? simply too good from beyond the arc. And the ball out of play. The Jazz will have it. Utah's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Clarkson passes to Olenek. And it's Olenek with a jam. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. The Lakers have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Pass to Russell. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. The aggressive move by Russell. He's got the deep bag of tricks. So tough to stop. Clarkson for three. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got eight rebounds in the game. James against Markkinen. The shot by James, no good. The Jazz shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Marking it outside. Clarkson for three. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And he drives in. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 16. So 
And this one hasn't Utah been in doubt for out. a bit oh. now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Lakers. They made the most of the extra rebounds tonight. Helped them out a lot. Now, when you look at these teams, they're both great rebounding clubs. And any night, either one can have the advantage on the boards. And with this performance, they'll have claimed their eighth win of the year. It's just the start of this season series with three games left between them, but it must feel great to take the first meeting. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for LeBron James. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. The three from Sexton. Rebound by the Lakers. 54 seconds left to play in the fourth. Back to Davis. Right wing. The three from Russell. Rebound by Olenek. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Los Angeles foul. Austin Reed. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Jazz substitution. Rudy Gay. Ochai Abaji. Taylor. 35 seconds left in the final quarter. Chris Dunn. Just five to shoot. Gay outside. He tries for three. No good. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. And we have to give him props. It's rare these days to see someone dominate the glass so single-handedly. Pass to Reeves. From deep. From beyond the arc and then some. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? LeBron, you've accomplished so much in this league. How have you been able to sustain it for so long? You know, it's only a select few. It's not many who make it to this point. And, and I would never take the game for granted. That's why I try to give everything I can until I can't give no more. And... All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. So long and good night, everyone. Beg for God's help. I'm your disciple, of, certainly. I'm the N, the A to the S, I R. If I wasn't, I must have been.